Good morning, William. It's uh, very good to see you today. Can you tell me what's happening today? Today we are launching the Midex Community Prototype, which is the first, world's first service to let people share information from a personal data store with um, important relying parties. And who's taking part precisely? A number of large organisations, the UK government through the Cabinet Office and the um, Department for Work and Pensions, three local authorities, the London Borough of Brent, the London Borough of Croydon and the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead, with a number of uh, observers including uh, Netmums, Olswang, the solicitors, the Direct Marketing Association, YouGov, the research company, are going to help with recruitment and uh, provide additional research resources, and a number of entrepreneurial companies that are waiting to provide uh, new services on the side of the individual are also participants. So why is this important? Well, it's important because it's a step, a small first step, in the journey towards restoring control over personal data back to the individual. And this is going to have immense implications for uh, convenience, for saving time for the individual, for saving money, because the data logistics at the moment between individuals and organisations are in an appalling crisis, and restoring trust and privacy in, in online life. So what do you mean when you mean personal data, when you say personal data? We mean initially, for the purposes of the prototype, non-financial administrative data, your address and other details that you need to share with organisations you want to transact with. But in due course, this would mean all the information which you use to manage your health, your finance, your, your transactions, your shopping, uh, all the things which you find that you need to share to get stuff done. Excellent. And how do people get involved? Initially, we're going to be recruiting participants into the MyDex community prototype through the existing relying parties. So uh, if you live in Croydon Council, you may see in the newsletter or on the website a suggestion that here's a new way to update the council about your circumstances. It's not our tool, it's your tool, and you can use it to update other organisations as well. Okay. And why is this important? It's important initially because we are trying to step away from a position where individuals are somewhere between depressed and in denial about what happens to their personal data online. But it's important in the longer term because it will provide immense economic and social benefits. If individuals can acquire trust and can show online that they're trustworthy, it, then doing business online, which is more cost effective and better and faster, is going to be much more powerful and much easier to do. So what's going to happen at the end of the prototype? At the end of the, well, first of all, the prototype is going to raise an enormous number of lessons about the technology, the legal terms on which people uh, will share information, about how individuals feel about this process and how organisations behave. So we need to learn the lessons of it, and there are several studies going on by UCL, the London School of Economics, the Open Society Foundation, an independent study uh, driven by the government's cabinet office. So we need to absorb the lessons of what the implications of this way of working. We can then carry on and expand. We can stop and start again if we have to. Or we can start to roll out new services on the side of the individual that work in this way. Fantastic. Thank you, William. That's a great pleasure.